Hey everyone, Jake from Optimus Futures here bringing you another video. In today's tutorial, we'll be focusing on customized TPO and volume analysis profile charts. So as of recent, Optimus Flow has added a few new updates to TPO charts and volume profiles specifically that visually make these types of charts easier to read and distinguish um, and just gives the user overall much more customization to work with. So if you haven't used TPO charts on Optimus Flow before, you can navigate to the top left of your platform. I have it favorited on my toolbar. Uh, if you don't, you can open the Optimus Flow main menu by clicking on the logo and coming down to analytics and TPO. As you can see, I already have mine open and it's set to a Russell 2000 chart currently. So if you do need to customize your TPO charts in any fashion, you can right click your chart and go down to settings. Now within these settings, of course, you have many options. Most of your TPO specific settings are within the general tab. So as you can see right now, I am working with a default layout. We have the option to display by boxes or letters, as you can see in the background there. Um, you could show a marker on each bar. There's different coloring modes, of course. Um, one nice thing is plotting the symbol. So if you notice, you can actually see that price action working in the background and you can actually get a feel for, you know, where the market is at using, you know, a generic chart, right? So right now you can see I actually have this as a line chart. So if I go up to style and have plot symbol enabled, you can actually change this to a traditional candlestick chart or an area depending on what you like. So we have... And we've noticed many times that users specifically like to have their candles in line with their TPO charts. So this is a nice little feature in order to get your, you know, normal candlestick charts overlaid on a TPO. Now, the main focus of this video, of course, is the new customization options that we've added. Previously, a uh, majority of these features haven't changed. Uh, what has changed, though, if you come down to general settings again and scroll down, You'll see in the section for volume analysis, if we enable that, we actually have quite a bit more options. And like I mentioned, this video is going to be focusing on volume analysis as well. So two of the main things we've actually added here are for the ability to customize your volume analysis on TPO charts specifically. And the features I'm referring to are histogram width. Previously, this wasn't customizable. Now it is. For those users who need to make their histogram width wider or larger, you know, smaller, depending on how you display your histograms, you can now do so. And on top of that, we also give you the position to choose so as well. So previous, previously, you either had to choose left or right profile. Now you can just pop open the volume analysis and customize it directly from your TPO. So if you go ahead and here's one of the new configurable features we've added, as you can see, I'm currently on right, which is the default. If I go ahead, I can actually make this left as well. So this is purely personal preference, but we do now have the option to display this um, either left or right, depending on what you prefer. On top of that, we actually have, like I mentioned, the option to adjust the width. So depending on whether you have it on the left or right profile, it may make more sense to either shrink this down or expand it. So if I go ahead and make this 100%, you can see how the volume profile now lines up perfectly with the TPO charts. And like I mentioned before, this makes it a lot more visually pleasing to the user, a lot easier to line up your volume profile with the actual TPO you know, action going on there. So definitely a lot more customizable and easier to view for the user. Uh, the POC, as you can see, stands out much more than it did previously. A lot easier to line that up with the volume profile going on there. So again, most of this stuff has remained the same, just the more visual customization. Um, one thing we've done with volume profile as well is the custom profile is now a lot easier to configure. So if you go ahead and pop open really any type of chart, maybe we could just do this on a normal candlestick chart. When you're using your custom profile, if we enable our volume analysis toolbar, which is the magnifying glass in the top right of your charts, this toolbar will appear on the bottom of your chart. 
and you can go ahead and choose a custom profile. This will give the user to give the user the ability, excuse me, to basically create some sort of volume analysis profile on any specific section of the chart that you'd like. So if you wish to just do one volume profile per candle, you can actually zoom in on your chart, line up your crosshairs and draw the area. As you can see, it's denoted by this squared box, uh, transparent box right over a candle. So if I draw this directly on my candle and give it a second, I can filter the volume how I want to as well, but we'll actually get the volume profile just for this specific candle. And when you're doing this, you may need to adjust your candle opacity. Uh, as you can see, I have a fully solid color on my candle and the transparent, um, excuse me, until I hover over my crosshair over this candle, it doesn't become transparent. So one idea that you could do is go down to your settings. Uh, come down to your candle colors. This is going to be in data style, excuse me, and come to these three fields right here, your body, border, and wet color. Right now, these are solid, but you can actually change the opacity on these. So if you want to make it much smaller right now, it's at 100, which is basically completely solid. Maybe we can put this down to five, for example, to make it a bit more transparent. And you could actually see the volume profile directly within that candle. So of course, there's a lot you can do with this. And in when speaking on TPO and volume profile, a lot of it is specific because each user does like to filter their data in their own specific way in order to get a grasp or a good feeling on the market. Like you can see here, once you have a custom profile set up right now, of course it is by default on volume, but you could put this to trades, just buy trades, sell trades. You see all the options you have here. So it's really hard to focus on one particular type of customization when it comes to these features, just because every user has their own little thought process to it or their own approach to the market. So for that reason, we won't go into each of these customizable fields here. Just want to give you users an idea of new settings that we've added and some nice tricks that you can do to make your life easier when using TPO charts. Again, majority is fairly straightforward when it comes to the settings. Just go ahead and right click on your chart. And when it comes to TPO, at least everything you can see here is pretty transparent and what is available to customize. Um, and then of course, if you want to use any general customization features of your chart, you may want to go down to view like you would on any other chart. Or as we've shown, if the candles here are too dark overlaying your TPO charts, you can always consider dropping down the opacity to make it a little bit more transparent to make your TPO a bit more visible. Um, it, it It's really up to the user. There's so many different options when it comes to TPO charts and volume profile. If you do like adding traditional volume bars, of course, you see that here, you can go ahead and make those invisible, visible, excuse me. Um, and, and all that customization is down there at the bottom as well. So you do have quite a few options. We hope these new features and customization settings help you. If you do have any questions on TPO charts or volume profile or anything of the like, let us know in our community forum. That's community.optimistfutures.com. Feel free to reach out to us there and ask any questions you may have. Uh, feel free to use the YouTube comment section down below. Again, just wanted to show some new features that we've added to customize TPO charts and volume analysis. We hope you find these features helpful and let us know if you'd like anything else added that hasn't been added so far. We always appreciate the feedback and we're always open to making changes. So let us know what you think and we hope this video helps.